It is famously known tragically as the day the music died. This year marks the 61st anniversary of that iconic winter dance party, which featured Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper, among others. They performed at the historic Riverside Ballroom on February 1st, 1959. The following night, after a show in Clear Lake, Iowa, the three were killed in a plane crash heading to their next stop in Minnesota. Their music, though, lives on. And joining us now is Mark Stoyer, who led the charge to create the Winter Dance Party tribute at the Riverside Ballroom. And Mark, is it hard to believe? Here we are, year 25. I was at that first one. I covered it 25 years ago. It is hard to believe. Um, originally, it was set up uh, to be the 40th anniversary of the original tour. And John Mueller, uh, who was the only one left from that original 25-year tour, uh, they went city to city as they did in 1959. So it was kind of a crazy back and forth all over the place. The last few years, they just kind of do it normally. What, what inspired you to bring this iconic winter dance party back to life, and how has it been received over the years? Well, it's always been very popular, but I, I think what happens is um, this time of year, and I've got friends, we call ourselves Holly Buddies, it's kind of a play on words, sure. uh, all over the country. And what happens is they, this time of year, we just lock in. It's winter, it's cold. Uh, it represents a tour that happened 65 years ago that turned out tragically, but we have a big group of friends that are friends because of what happened. And talk about the amazing talent that brings Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the others to life. Well, John Mueller has been doing this. He's the Buddy Holly character, and uh, he is amazing. He, he is, he and Ray Anthony, who is Richie Valens, and Linwood Sasser, who is the Big Bopper, uh, they're the only group out there that is endorsed by the Holly family, uh, by the Valens family, and by the Richardson family, which is Big Bopper. They're the only ones, so they are that good. And you've had other historic performers as well. Over the years, yeah. The first year we had Nicky Sullivan, who was one of the original crickets, and uh, we gave him a key to the city, and he passed away some years back, but he, his wife said he had it up on the mantle, proudly. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, Nicky Sullivan was there. We had Carl Bunch, who was the drummer who got frostbite back in 59. I spent three days with him. Wonderful man. And he's the one that gave up his seat, right? Well, not, not necessarily. <laughs> it, there's a lot of different stories. Basically, what happened was my Holly Buddies group. We we went from uh, we went to all eight ballrooms that he played in '58 and '59, and we went to Prairie du Chien and actually went to the uh, sporting goods store where the Big Bopper bought a sleeping bag. He had he had a cold. He wasn't feeling well. They get, you know, they the bus had broken down from Duluth to Green Bay, and then they went to uh, Clear Lake, Iowa, and. Buddy was upset. He just said, you know, this is enough. We, we got to, he chartered a plane. But the bopper was sitting there and he said, hey, Whalen, to Whalen Jennings, right. who was playing bass. Famous country. A, a famous. He was yeah. a good friend of Buddy Holly's. Uh, Whalen was sitting there and, and bopper said, hey, can we switch seats? I, I'm not feeling well. He said, I'll do it if you give me your sleeping bag. So Whalen got a sleeping bag. Then, of course, the story, Carl Bunch, the drummer who got frostbite, uh, had lost some of his outfits earlier in the tour. So Tommy Alsup, the guitarist, went out to Buddy, and uh, before he went to talk to Buddy at the plane, um, Richie Valens said, hey, can we, can we, uh, I want to be on the plane. I want to be. And he kept bugging him, bugging him, and finally uh, Tommy Alsup said, he pulled out a half dollar and call it, flipped it, called, uh, Richie called heads. Wow. Rest is history. And actually, after the plane crash, Tommy Alsup actually gave his wallet to Buddy Holly to get a, re, uh, a registered letter up in Moorhead, Minnesota. He said, I need identification. They found Tommy Alsup's wallet at the crash site. So his mother thought he had died. Wow. And then Waylon Jennings thought that Waylon had died. So it was very convoluted there for a while. Wow. Well, give us all the details of this year's winter dance party, the 25th uh, anniversary, a week from Friday at the Riverside Ballroom. Uh, obviously great performances, a lot of memorabilia. There will be a lot of memorabilia there and a lot of the, a lot of the things that I have, actually it will help save my marriage because my <laughs> wife wants me to get all these bins of stuff out of the house. So that, that's one of the goals, uh, but I have posters and autographs and 
uh, all sorts of history uh, with, with that time period. And with the, the museum I'm working on uh, right now, that would be one of the focal points would be the Winter Dance Party. And we want to make this an international destination. Northeast Wisconsin? Northeast musical. Wisconsin. Or it, would be a, it would be Green Bay and Northeast Wisconsin, so the 19 counties of Northeast Wisconsin. We'll look at everything from Brown County Arena concerts to other venues that were out there, all those concerts, uh, bands that played in the 50s, 60s, and all the way up. Uh, we'll have a database with uh, the bands. Um, we'll have music from First Nations people, the French, the British, all the way up to the modern time. Uh, I've got plans. And you're, you're always involved in something music related, uh, along my, with your city duties. Right, right. Yeah, my, my children are both musicians. I don't play much, but I, uh, I appreciate it a lot. Well, we certainly uh, wish you the best of luck a week from Friday at the annual winter dance party at the Riverside Ballroom. It's, uh, it, it, you can't beat the setting. You really can't. No, so, it's the original setting. It is. Mark, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate your time as always, and uh, have a wonderful uh, winter dance party the 25th coming up here a week from Friday. Thank you.